good morning. Make room. Get ready. Make room. We're talking about talking with God. We've been talking about it for the last couple of weeks. And conversations with God are two-way conversations. Two-way conversations make room. Sometimes I get it. It's in the morning, the alarm goes off, you have 15 minutes to get to the car. I understand that first thing in the morning might be difficult for you, but I wanna say this to you, make room. A little more time, a little more space, just a little bit. If you give just a little bit, God gives back so much more. It's a two-way conversation. It's not a one-way street. I've said this before, our prayers are not just bouncing off the ceiling. And we don't have to wait for our prayers to be answered to know that that's true. We don't have to wait for that. In Lamentations, it says, pour out your heart like water before the Lord. When do I find myself doing that? Well, when I'm freaking out. In the middle of the night when I'm up and I can't sleep. Um, pour out your heart like water before the Lord. In the time that I set aside, make room. In the time that I set aside to talk to God, pour out my heart like water before the Lord. But I'm not pouring out my heart like water onto dry ground, into dust. I'm not pouring out my heart like water into an infinite ocean. It gets lost, never to be seen again. It gets, it runs off of the dry ground, never to be seen again. Uh-uh. I'm pouring out my heart. You're pouring out your heart like water into the hands of God who loves you. He has all the answers. He is the answer. Conversation with him is a two-way street. If you look in the Psalms, you just start reading the Psalms. Man, it's a great place to start. If you start reading the Psalms, you'll see that something happens in the middle of each one. So whoever, if it's David, and David wrote a lot of the Psalms, he comes, man, I'm a wreck. Man, I can't handle my life. Man, it's terrible. He's pouring out his heart like water. In truth, vulnerability, honesty, but he's not pouring it out into some benign space. He's not pouring it out into the dust. He's not dumping it down the gutter, you know, to go into the um, underground sewer system. <laughs> he's pouring it out in the hands of capable, mighty God. And something happens. You know, he starts talking this is terrible, can't do this, and something happens. It's not an audible response in many cases, but you can sense the atmosphere changing. You can sense his David's attitude changing in the words that he's penning. All of a sudden, the negativity, the darkness, the uh, sadness, weariness, you name it, the oppression, it turns just like that because it's a two-way conversation. God came. He heard, he came, he changed the atmosphere. He changed the emotion, he changed the attitude. How does he do that? You know, I don't understand it. It's his presence. His presence is everything. Make room. Emmanuel, God with us, is on the way. His presence is everything. And it changes the atmosphere. It changes your emotions. It builds your faith. It gives you courage. And things change. And the next thing you know, you go from your complaints, your laments, you're pouring out your heart like water before the Lord to 
you feel his presence, you feel his love, you feel his encouragement. It might be in a word or it might be in just a knowing, just a knowing. And it changes. You can watch that happen in um, Psalm chapter 2, 3, 4, 5, 18. 18, though. Psalm chapter 18, though. <laughs> Come on. Next thing you know, you're pointing to him and saying, God's amazing. He can do it. He can do it because it was a two-way conversation. He came, he spoke, he changed things, he broke through, and now you know. Just wait, just wait, just wait on the Lord, just wait patiently for him. In him, we live and move and have our being. We can't do anything apart from God. Make room make room in your schedule make room in your day make room if you have to set an alarm on your phone once every hour for a 60 second praise break and that can be pouring out your heart like water until you feel him coming maybe the first 60 seconds you're like i'm just gonna i'm pouring it out the next 60 seconds i'm pouring it out third hour next 60 seconds i'm pouring it out Maybe it takes for you to get to the eighth hour of your 60 second praise break, one per hour before you're like, something's happening. Something's changing. Because you're making room. You're making room. You are not pouring out your heart like water onto just nothing, onto just dusty ground. You're pouring out your heart like water into the hands of God who adores you. Your concerns are his concerns and he is gonna turn it all around. He's gonna turn it all around. There's big stuff going on all around you. And as he starts to impact the way you view him, as he starts to impact the way you view your life and your community and your nation and this world, you're gonna pour that out, that change. You're gonna pour that out onto those people who are around you and they're gonna to start to experience change. They're gonna to start to experience new. They're gonna to start to make room because they're gonna see what a difference it made when you started to make room. Make room, make room. He wants to come in a two-way conversation. Your prayers are not hitting the ceiling, I promise you. Make room. Here he comes. Have a great week.